banana peppers. I'm so sorry, I have been gone for so long. I feel like that was like, it's like, you know, I'm not used to saying banana peppers yet so i'm like banana peppers uh but i am so excited to finally be back on both of my channels can you hear the quiet hum of uh, a video importing because i just filmed like a video that i am so excited about you know what i don't know which i'll edit first how about that price tag still on my head oh it's pulling out my hair maybe i'll just take this off <laughs> um i just filmed a video where I let a Swamp family member spend 200 of my dollars. It's like a play on the uh, I let a stranger spend blank amount of my money. Um, and it was so much fun to film, but I just literally had a heart attack because I've I've been I've I'm been scrambling I've been scrambling for space on my various and sundry memory cards. So I started filming this video sometime last month that's how crazy everything has been like pre 4th of july and then i ran out of memory on that card and so like i i thought i accidentally i just cleaned up the office last week and i thought i accidentally threw away this entire little metal container of all my memory cards so i just thought i lost half of that video and i've just been panicking for 20 minutes wondering why i'm such an idiot uh but but there they are. I was gone from this channel and my other channel for so, so long, but I've had, I had such a stressful week last week, you guys, and I, I kind of don't even want to rehash it at this point. Otherwise I would tell you guys what's been going on. But at this point I'd rather just kind of like put more positive energy in my life and kind of like just <sighs> not, not dwell on it. Um, but I am glad to be back. Uh, I don't even feel like I have anything interesting to say, but I have decided that this week I'm gonna do something cool between these two channels. I'm gonna do my two kind of like monthly unboxings because I know once again, a lot of you guys love a lot of unboxings and a lot of y'all don't like them. So this is just kind of like options for you guys while allowing me to make all of the videos that I would love to make in my heart. So I'm gonna do either Birchbox or Sephora Play Box. I'm gonna do one unboxing on Graveyard Girl and then I'm gonna do the other unboxing on this channel. So if you like a lot of content and you like a lot of unboxings, that will give you guys some options. I guess the other cool thing is I told you guys, I think in last last vlog on this channel that I was going to give y'all a like wish update and I can happily report that I think the little like hiccup is hopefully done with I hope uh because all of the items that I've gotten in recently have actually been the items that I ordered this one is pretty cool honestly and then I got this one which makes a rainbow but like when I ordered this one so you spin it whoosh, rainbow but there was like a black version, a gray version, like there were lots of different colors that you could get, but I wanted white and they sent the white one. And I ordered this nail powder so that I can hopefully do some actually really awesome Joker nails. Um, once my nails, oh, they are so gross now. I literally like destroyed them by repetitiously peeling off the gel nails. I did like gel nails four times in a row and then peeled them off four times in a row. But it is a powder. Powder. I've never used a nail powder in my life, but this is like supposed to be a transition from like purple to green. So I think it's going to be really awesome. I'm excited to try it. I might do that later this week. Where is my tea? It's all the way over here. I'm going to roll over here and get it. Um, so it's, oh my gosh, it is five in the morning right now. I should definitely be sleeping, but I'm not. It's so crazy lately. I know I've talked about this, but it's like I can only sleep during the middle of the day if I'm watching like these really crazy, creepy shows or my favorite, um, like, and by crazy, creepy, I mean like true crime shows or um, horror narrations on YouTube, which you guys know I love that community to death. I'll go ahead and tell you guys some of my favorite channels. Obviously, Corpse Husband. He just came back with a new video, I think, last week. Um, who else do I love? Unit 522, Southern Cannibal. Um, who am I leaving out? There's like a million of them that I watch. Oh my gosh. I just discovered that creepypasta guy. 
um be busta obviously always an og favorite um recently getting into rob dyke mr nightmare just put out a really good one that i told you guys about last time um i just got into a channel called let's read they just had one that was pretty co pretty good that was like four creepy mailman stories um who else am i forgetting oh my gosh i just I love that whole genre so much and definitely when I'm very stressed out I always turn to them and I always like I don't know it just like fuels the imagination and I love creepy stuff what can I say um what else is going on oh I feel a lot of you guys might ask where my shirt is from and it's from the ragged priest Aww. Oh, it's pretty cute. It's all like sheer in the back though. So maybe don't know, but I want to see that there's really not much to say except for I'm definitely very glad to be getting back into the swing of things. I feel like I have some exciting videos coming up for you guys this week. I'm glad so many of y'all loved the last does this thing really work video that I just did, which was about that crazy like peeling like peeling makeup base. Um, and I don't know, you guys, I'm pretty excited for the next couple of months. Like, I've got some bigger project videos that I'm really hoping I'm going to get done finally. I feel like they've been in my head forever. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to even think of what else. I felt like I was, like, I was going to come on here with, like, a purpose. I feel like definitely it was just basically to come back on this channel because I'm sure some people are like, She's not going to keep up with this second channel, which is just like me to start doing something and then stop doing it immediately or like say I'm going to do something and then literally I always, anytime I do that, I always have the best of intentions to actually set out and do what I say I'm going to do. Like certain video series or like, you know, Wreck It Wednesday, which maybe we should start again on this channel, but I'm kind of thinking instead of doing another Wreck It journal, Maybe we do another one like it. Like I know that there's a lot of cool ones out there that kind of like caught on to that whole like wreck it journal trend. I don't know if we could do a wreck it journal three times. That might be a little bit much. Um, but I don't know. That's definitely like a series that I miss. There's so many things that I miss, honestly. Uh, what else do I want to, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to tell you guys? I got these super adorable phone cases. This is not sponsored. It just, it, they just arrived to me. And I'm not even like a minion person. I don't know if that's like frowned upon to, to like them or not like them. I don't know. Uh, but Casetify came out with all these cute minion phone cases. I didn't even know that there was going to be a Despicable Me. But look at this one. It's like got glitter in it. But I, these are honestly my favorite. There's two that are like this. And once again, I don't know bull about minions. Okay, how about you focus, camera? Wouldn't that be amazing? But look at this. There's like a castle, a mountain, a rainbow. I think that's a piggy and like a passport. I don't know if these are going to be themes in Minions 3 or Despicable Me 3. I don't know which one it is that's coming out. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a minion. He's trapped down there. <gasps> I'm trying to help you. Uh, so cute. So cute. I really like this one. And then there were three other ones that were also really cute. Also, you guys, I think I'm getting sick. It's like I, I've kind of been like coughing or whatever. And then I, all of a sudden, like tonight, as I was doing my six hours of makeup, um, I started getting this really bad pain in my lung. It doesn't feel good. Um, we have this case. It says side cheese. And then another minion. This one kind of has like Hunter S. Thompson vibes and more glitter. And then we have this one, which is pretty cute. It's like minion pineapples, palm trees, bananas. Oh my gosh. Perfect for banana peppers. Uh, minions, glitter, all of that jazz. <laughs> I feel so bad because I know a lot of you guys love listening to these vlogs. Like, I've been through this a million times. I feel like every vlog I'm tempted to kind of say the same thing, which I'm imagining is very boring for you guys. So I'm not even going to rehash into that. But if you've been missing my long ramblings while you're doing whatever it is that you do while you listen to these videos, I'm sorry. And definitely I'm going to come back with a bang this week and uh, really deliver some content for you guys. I feel like I've fallen off and I feel like it's time to 
and get back on. Uh, I definitely feel like I want to stop focusing on things that have been driving me crazy lately. I feel like we've kind of hashed through some of them, like numbers and this and that, and it's just been an uphill battle. Uh, but I don't know. I'm in the mood to fix things in my head. Uh, <laughs> Does that sound crazy? I don't even know. Um, also, look at this behind me. It's kind of part of a special project that I have going on, but you guys, um, I had a Joker jacket made for myself <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I had it made on Etsy and it looks, I mean, I, I didn't want it to be like the whole, like, what would we call it? I almost said cape, but like, long jacket like duster didn't want that i definitely did want it like motorcycle style but it's the same um like crocodile print purple stuff look at that so i was just looking for custom jackets on etsy and i came across this place in italy that sells like both the materials and they make the jackets as well so i had it made like motorcycle style and I think it turned out really cool. And it was incredibly fast. Like it took less than a week for them to custom make the jacket and to mail it from Italy. It was wild, uh, but it's like totally custom, like the fabric and normally their jackets have silver. I mean, this almost looks silver to me in the little like viewfinder, but it's actually like gold. I had them do gold hardware instead of silver because it's more like joker to be like gold uh but i could not be happier with how it turned out it was really amazing um so that's the only other exciting thing that i have to say um and i guess when you don't have anything exciting to say <laughs> maybe just stop talking but i am gonna do the uncommon haul this week a lot of you guys really were excited for me to do that video it has been so long since i've done like an antique haul anything like that so uh, i'm gonna try and get that up this week and just keep vlogging i don't know i really loved when i did like two videos in a row on this channel last week so i think i'm gonna try and do i don't know at least every other day i feel like that's good and i can't stop burping i'm sorry it's so disgusting i've been binging on taco bell lately i don't even know why i get into like such unhealthy <laughs> food and then i just eat it like 500 times in a row maybe it's not that unhealthy i don't it, it i don't you know what i'm saying like i don't think anybody is like mm, taco bell healthy eating but it's so delicious they just came out with this new thing you know how sometimes they put the pictures on the menu and they it's like 10 times bigger than life so you can see all the details of like the juicy tomatoes the crisp lettuce uh they came out with this thing that's called i think it's called a double chalupa and uh, I don't, I don't even really know what a chalupa is, but it looks like a little trough, like a little crispy dough trough, and then it's got like meat, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, uh, maybe some other things. Cheese? Did I say cheese? It's not bad. I don't know. I got it one night, and it was like really fresh and crispy and delicious, and then I got it tonight, and it was like kind of like, I know this is gonna sound gross, but it was like greasy. So the the crispy like outer shell sort of like fried tortilla thing was like moist. And I, so more or less tonight, I just like ate the toppings, took a bite of the outside here and there, but it's the outside that really seals the deal. It's the outside that's very delicious. It's uh, it's crispy. Did I say crispy? I just had a brain fart because I started thinking about how great it would be to take my eyelashes off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Woo! one down one to go i always feel guilty because i feel like i should be wearing my eyelashes like definitely more than once but i rarely ever do and i feel like it's because i've got the most sensitive eyes in the world i'm like that commercial where that guy is like do they have them for my special eyes it's like i have special eyes um and uh, that's about all she wrote tonight. I'm wearing the Heat palette, just in case anybody was wondering, Urban Decay Naked Heat. I am loving this one lately. Every time I've been putting eyeshadow on, it's been this palette. Cause I do love the reds and stuff with my eyes and my complexion, it's great. And I'm also trying this new foundation. I'll find out exactly what it's called and I'll tell y'all in the next video. I actually even filmed it. It was part of a PR haul that I told you guys that I filmed that I did film. I just haven't edited it yet. 
uh, but they were these new foundation sticks from Smashbox and it's like one side is foundation and one side is contouring and it's amazing. Definitely one of the best stick foundations that I have ever tried hands down and I think the coverage is really great and you guys last final thought is I am struggling to not tan. I don't know why I've just been bitten by the tanning bug and uh, I'm even tempted to go so far as to like go get a spray tanning membership again. If y'all have been here since day one, you know that I used to be obsessed with spray tanning. I would do it like three, four times a week. It was madness. Um, but I don't know. It's like, you know, it's like whenever you have to like subscribe to something, there's so much commitment there. And I kind of feel like I would only want to do it for like a couple months just because I like kind of miss the routine of it. And it was just something fun to do. Uh, so I don't know. I've been thinking like, do I want to, do I want to join like a spray tannery? But then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just don't know if I would like fully get back into it. So I've been thinking about... And Tarte just sent theirs over the other day where it's like the little like lotion kind. I used to do that a lot too, but I haven't done that. I, I haven't tanned in any way in years, like probably two or three years now. It's crazy how you can literally go from just being like so addicted and like just doing something three or four times a week to just like not doing it at all anymore. Madness. Uh, but I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to do it. I don't know why. So I might do it spontaneous <laughs> um <coughs> so was that my closing thought i don't know that's what we're gonna close with because i'm gonna take a shower and then maybe a nap <laughs> i feel like i don't sleep anymore i just nap um but that is it so uh yeah thank you guys for hanging out with me today tonight whenever you so happen to be joining me and i'm sorry that i was gone for a while um but I am back now, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. That would be awesome. I would be so happy if, if it was tomorrow. But I love you guys. Take care, and I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Where's the off button? I am an off button. Okay.